Welcome everyone, uh, it's EJ Doodles here, saying that name out loud, I realize how stupid it is. Um, but it's what I'm sticking with. This is my first time trying to narrate one of my drawings. I've seen a lot of content creators do this and it really helps me understand what they're doing, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I already had some trouble, couldn't connect my AirPods to the CapCut software, so I'm using the mic for my laptop, so it's super echoey. What you're looking at here is a drawing of Venom taking over Goku that I did in 2018 and I wanted to revisit because I think I'm a little bit better. So as I record this video, I'm uh, making changes on the fly, like deleting footage and adding footage. Um, I didn't have any good footage of me actually drawing the sketch. So what you're looking at here is the final sketch that I decided I liked. It took about an hour, hour and a half. I used a blue pencil that my artist friend gave me to try and I really like it as when you color over it, it disappears way better than graphite. All I'm doing really here is showing you in real time how long it takes me uh, to actually color this. I'm not good and I'm learning as I go. I'm layering down some marker first for the big areas and then going over with a multitude of pencil grounds to create a nice uh, kind of realistic, cartoony, comic-y blend uh, that I hope you like. This video is already way too long to begin with, so it's going to be posted on YouTube in its entirety and probably split up for TikTok. Um, so I've sped up this part uh, 10 times. You can see that I'm using a lot of different colors to uh, create a blend that I actually like. And when you see me disappear off screen for a, a brief moment, that's because I'm testing stuff out on the side because I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, so basically I tested out how I like the reds to blend with the blue and the black. So I've added some purples and some maroon tones to help me get that uh, gummy texture for the inside of his mouth as it wraps around Goku's face. I'm also super new to using CapCut and I actually do not like editing videos. I've noticed that. Uh, so I'm going to try to use the software to zoom in here to give you guys a better look. But basically all I'm doing is laying down a light uh, color of red as I try to create that uh, gummy, wet texture uh, that you see in Venom's mouth that I was talking about. Uh, adding maroons, some deep purples, and then kind of trying to blend it into the blue and blacks that I'm using uh, for Venom's main skin texture. The video is actually going at 14 times the speed now because it's super long and I have a lot of footage. So we're kind of reaching that three minute mark already. So I'm probably going to end it here for part one on TikTok. And if you want to see the full video, check out the YouTube. It won't be in any different parts. And uh, part two coming very shortly. Hey guys, it's EJ Doodles. Um, if you're watching this on TikTok, welcome back to part two of this uh, Venom-ized Goku drawing that I wanted to recreate. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for staying this long. What you saw in the previous video was me just kind of talking about the colors I was laying down. Now you can kind of see me using my blues. I start with my lights, then I go to my dark blues, and I add my blacks, then I go to a light blue color to kind of blend them all together. It seems to be the best technique that's working uh, thus far in the drawing. You can see I got most of the mouth done, but I wasn't really happy uh, with the way it was going, so I decided to step away and take a break and go back to the serious amount of blues that I had to uh, get done while I reevaluate what I want to do with the mouth. So again, for the people on TikTok, this is part two, so we're going to slow the speed down from the 14 times um, time lapse that I was doing prior, so you can see how painstakingly long it actually takes for me to get all the different blends in the different areas. Uh, right now you can kind of see I'm working around uh, veins that are protruding from Venom's body, so I have to make sure I get all the shadows right before moving on uh, to something else. When I watch videos and YouTube videos, sometimes I just think these artists are so crazy and I can't believe they work so quick. But then I forget that the video is time-lapse, so I thought it was important to kind of go to its original speed so you can actually see uh, how slow I'm actually going at each of these parts. So this video is uh, long enough as it is, as I've mentioned before, so we're going to go back up to 10 times the speed. I've also deleted chunks of footage that I had, 
Um, again, I'm new at this, so I'm just kind of learning how to make a video. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. So here I'm just kind of showing that chest as it's like a large portion of the blue. So you can kind of actually see really well how I create those blends. Again, starting with the light colors at the bottom, uh, adding some darker tones on top, and then using that light color to blend them uh, all together. You can actually see here I added my blacks first to some of the areas that I wanted to make sure I did not forget to make extra dark because, uh, you know, the shadowy areas that give depth to the muscles uh, that Venom and Goku actually have. So I deleted more of me coloring in Goku's skin tone. Um, it was like just more of the same thing and the video was looking at 15 minutes long. So I jumped here to me creating the text. I wanted to show you this because I don't usually do text. I hate writing. A lot of my friends ask me to design tattoos and I absolutely hate doing any kind of writing. I'm not good at it. My letters are never the right size. The spacing is horrible. But because I read a lot of comics, uh, the Venom fonts stood out to me and I really wanted to try laying it down here. Uh, I decided to go with uh, a gradient. So going from a dark red to a light orange yellow at the top. Uh, once I created uh, that blend I liked, I used a pasta marker to kind of finish the drawing. Now, the marker gave me a really bright green texture. Now, you're going to see in the final product that I actually used this um, on the tongue and the mouth part to show the slime or the venom that comes off Venom's mouth in the original uh, 90s uh, Todd McFarlane style drawing. But because the pasta markers are, are so bright, the textures look so different. So you can see I use my finger kind of to blend it in a bit. And I also go over it once it's dried uh, with a similar color pencil crayon to kind of give you that texture of the pencil crayon. So they don't look like two separate pieces to one drawing, but one cohesive uh, art piece. And once I kind of finished the outline here, I realized I didn't like how red and orangey the letters were. So I decided to go in and add some black since the primary colors were dark blues and blacks in the Venom drawing, so it kind of tied the text to uh, the actual drawing. I mean, I think, at least. So I think that's way more than enough time spent on the actual text. Let's look at the finished product here as I zoom out. And there you have it. This is a five-year difference. Uh, from when I first kind of created this drawing. I'm going to zoom in here so you can kind of see all the textual things I did. I wish I filmed this part. I used a white Posca marker to kind of create the different textures and highlights and to go in and out and create that veiny um, look that Venom from the actual movies has. I combined a lot of reference to create this drawing. There you can see the Posca marker I was talking about creating the green Venomy slime. And here's the finished text. I added the black to give it a little bit more cohesion as well as a little bit of yellow paint splatter to give it that slimy, venomy look. Here's the original drawing from 2018. And here's the finished product. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like me to uh, venomize. Thanks for watching.